Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And uh, this is a big subject. This is acidosis versus alkalosis. And this question is, um, we got somebody whose uh, health is falling apart. Um, they're going to have either one or two, one of these two conditions going on um, in the background, in their body, creating the symptoms. And uh, so which one, which one's more prevalent, which one's more important? And I have the answer. And so I've been in practice for 20 years. I figured out lactic acidosis uh, a year ago, and I've been treating people as if they had alkalosis for most of my nutritional career. Now, and I've seen the difference between the two. So I'm gonna, I have uh, two columns here, and I have four sheets to go over with you on this, and it's super interesting, so just bear with me. Now, this information goes back many, many decades. We're talking actually even to the early 1900s, and um, it's pretty well spelled out, but there's some missing information. I have mentors that I watch on uh, YouTube. Even before YouTube was, uh, was invented, some of these uh, doctors that give lectures on YouTube now, I would see them live and uh, listen to what they had to say. So here's acidosis. Here's, these are the differences. We got acidosis is in the blood. So the blood's coursing throughout your whole body. And when the blood is sick and poisonous and hypoxic, that's lactic acidosis. Alkalosis is in the stomach, and um, it means that the stomach pH is too high. So an acidic stomach, a healthy acidic stomach, can get down to like a 1.5 pH. Now if it's sick, it may only get down to like 3.5 or 4. That sets up the whole alkalosis scenario. Okay, and you, you can get similar symptoms. Alright, but I'm going to keep going. So the solution for alkalosis is hydrochloric acid tablets or apple cider vinegar and that helps you digest uh, food in your stomach. Now the solution for acidosis is B vitamins, fix the liver, detox the liver, um, and then ketosis, make sure the cells are no longer burning sugar anymore. You gotta get the cells to burn fat. Okay, now that's more of a complete uh, scenario here. Okay, now for acidosis, uh, the symptoms are all chronic disease, including cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. My list of symptoms, uh, I stopped counting at 86 uh, that I've seen in my patients. 86 diseases and uh, symptoms. For alkalosis, there's a lot of symptoms. And I, I listed, uh, there's aches, arthritis, asthma is in there, allergies, bursitis. So that's just some of the A's and, and one of the B's. But you can go down the alphabetical list. Alright, so bear with me, this is really cool. Especially uh, the last two pages. Alright, lab tests to track. Insulin tracks acidosis. Insulin is the marker for chronic disease. If you have heart disease, you're, a di you're diabetic. Whether you like it or not, you got to get your insulin tested. The medical doctors always test sugar only, and they say, oh, you're not a diabetic. Well, if you're to test the insulin, it's chronically high if you have any sign of heart disease. Now, cortisol is the test for alkalosis. So the point is, there's way more people with insulin um, being too high than there are people with cortisol being too high. So you can have high cortisol just because you're stressed. I wrote that down here. Um, and the reason why you become acidotic and have high insulin is because you're deficient in B vitamins from your food. So how many people are B vitamin deficient in the United States? Everybody. Unless you eat liver once a week and eat, you're eating nutritional yeast on a regular basis. And, or maybe I have you know, supplements that I will always take forever. They have liver in them. Okay. Now you can be not stressed and still have lactic acidosis because you have B vitamin deficient foods and your body is B vitamin deficient. Okay. Um, now the solution for acidosis is resolvable. I mean, people get better and then they're done. And they maintain it once a week with eating like three ounces of liver or something. But I've been in practice, and I figured out lactic acidosis one year ago. I've been in practice 20 years now. I figured this out one year ago. My results are solid. Whereas before, when I treated everything like alkalosis, I did this for years. And I would support the adrenals. I would provide salt, minerals, hydrochloric acid, apple cider vinegar and I was chasing symptoms. So the, the achiness of the joints or the bursitis would jump around to different joints in the body. The asthma or allergies always came back in the spring or they always came back in the fall. 
if you just treat alkalosis. So you got to get more to the cause with acidosis. And that's been my clinical experience. All right, here's a pretty profound statement. Acidosis causes alkalosis. This is the bigger issue, the acidosis. So how is this? B vitamin deficiency inhibits hydrochloric acid production in the stomach. That's key. This is key that I wish my mentors knew because when Cataplex B or Cataplex G from Standard Process fix, raises up the B vitamins and then the stomach works better and the stomach makes enough hydrochloric acid and then there's no longer alkalosis originating from the stomach and the gut and then it reverses the osteoporosis and it reverses um, the arthritis and the muscle soreness and all this and the allergies and etc 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 okay except so here's the bottom line excessive refined carbohydrate and protein metabolism relative to fat deplete B vitamins and create waste with well, that's lactic acidosis and then the deficiency of B vitamins creates um, hydrochloric acid inhibition in the stomach so alkalosis is this, in some cases I don't know I'm still kind of new at this I've only figured out acidosis like a year ago but I think alkalosis is a symptom of this B vitamin deficiency in the waste products of lactic acidosis. So you got to fix the uh, waste products of carbohydrate metabolism and you got to fix lactic acidosis in order to fix alkalosis. I know it sounds backwards or weird or whatever, but I've seen this to be clini clinically true. Here's the last paper here. They all agreed the father of pathology, Virchow, the father of physiology, Warburg, the father of nutrition, Royal Lee and the father of endocrinology, Harrower, they all agreed that acidosis was the bigger issue. It's the underlying mechanism of all chronic disease. And um, so these are my mentors. I've been reading their books, and I hope this helps, helps you out.